Welcome back, and in this video I'll show you my new favorite zombie weapon and a solo glitch to duplicate items without needing a tombstone. So let's try and glitch the likes up on this video to help my channel grow and join the Gud crew by tapping that subscribe button. Also, feel free to join our Discord in the description if you need any zombie help. A new set of weekly challenges are here, and if you complete five of them, then you will unlock a new aftermarket part for the RGL. You'll also unlock this camo for free if you can complete eight weeks of these challenges, so just make sure you get started on them. This new conversion kit lets you add ammo to the RGL, so I'll show you the best one to use inside of zombies. We're heading into zombies, equip the Jack Thumper, and put on the Slug Ammo type. The best thing about this ammo is that you do not need the PhD Flopper perk, since this ammo does not cause any damage to your operator, even at close range. This makes farming weapon XP extremely easy if you're after those prestige camos. Start up the Outlast contract, and then cancel it once it reaches 95%. Zombies will now continuously spawn in, allowing you to kill them over and over. This new RGL has incredible range, and it has a large blast radius which makes taking out large groups of zombies even easier than before. You can also farm exfil sites to gain incredible XP, and mags of holding does make this easier, but it's not required. Farming tier 3 contracts has never been easier when using this weapon. It's extremely good at taking out spores, and its fast fire rate makes taking out hordes of zombies a breeze, which is also perfect for the escort contract. It's absolutely terrible at taking out bosses, no matter which ammo type you use. So if you want to farm bounties, then just do the instant kill glitch, and you can check out the video in the description showing you how to do it. I'll also leave a video in the description showing how to farm contracts inside the Dark Aether using the RGL, but just make sure you use this new conversion kit to make the grind even easier. There is a solo dupe glitch you can use to keep all backpack items game after game, but a lot of luck is involved to get this one to work right. Bring items into the game and feel free to use them all because you'll get them all back later. Then just play the game until the gas starts to spread. Then make your way to the exfil farthest from the gas, but for this glitch to work you'll need to be the last player on the map. Get onto the exfil chopper and pay attention to when it starts going up. Just before it starts to lean forward to fly, you need to jump off the chopper. If you jump too soon or if you jump too late, the glitch won't work, so perfect timing is required. Once you jump off the chopper, try to exit the gas quickly, because if you get down, the glitch also won't work. After a few minutes, you'll get a message saying disconnected from host, and you will be booted back to the main menu with all the items you went into the game with. I tested this glitch for several hours trying to get it to work, but there was always a player waiting for last exfil, so if that happens, just leave the game on the chopper and try again in the next. This glitch will only work if you are the last player on the server, so if you play on busy servers like mine, then this glitch won't work very well for you. The tombstone glitch is the most consistent and easiest way to duplicate items, and you can check out the video in the description showing you how to do it. If you guys have any tips to make this glitch easier, then let us know about it down in the comments. Hopefully this video has helped you guys out, and if you made it this far, then say the secret word HAMMER TIME in the comments. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao!